Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Planet Crafter. This is a game where we've been tasked with turning this horrible barren planet you can see down here into this, a massive pile of egg... Hang on, is that really what we've been doing? <laughs> <laughs> no, if we head out of our base into this, a green thriving paradise with strongest shaped grass, strongest shaped heaters, and even a floating strongest shaped base, although it's a bit of a trade at the moment. Now the aim is to wander around the planet, find resources like silicon, you can mine them, and then head into your construction menu where you can build all sorts of things that help you to terraform the planet. Now the more you increase the oxygen, heat, pressure and biomass, the larger your terraformation index. And you need a higher terraformation index to get to different stages and to unlock new equipment. So it's basically cookie clicker, but instead of clicking cookies, we are terraforming Mars. And this is as far as we got. We've got loads of lakes everywhere. As you saw before, we've got very efficient grass. Down there where we built a bridge in a previous episode, we've even got a little river forming. And you can see we're currently in the flora stage. We need to get to the tree stage, although that number is going up very, very slowly. We need to increase it. Now, at the end of last episode, we unlocked loads of new stuff. We've got the ore extractor T2, which will allow us to get rare materials such as uranium so we can build more nuclear reactors and super alloys which pretty much everything requires to build. We also unlock these two things the gas extractor and the DNA manipulator. Not too sure what they do yet but I think we're going to go build a load of ore extractors around the place to get that rare ore. So to build those we need three osmium, three super alloys and two iridium rods. Now in my labeled lockers over here I should have some super alloy yes and also some osmium which is quite nice but we also need the iridium rods now i've got a load of iridium here so if we take nine of these we can come over to this big old machine where we can craft iridium rods so there's one and there's another one and now we're laughing we've got enough resources to build two of those mines so we want to head over the other side of the map so we'll be heading down this way past the aluminium fields heading towards the northern star which i put in my very first episode in this game basically it was just a mid station for the infinitely long stairs to oblivion i tried to escape the planet but it didn't work we're we'll going past this cave that has all the drooping pollen you can see it's actually it's actually green in here now oh and there's actually some zeolite in here we'll take that that is a very very rare material apparently i mean i'm finding it everywhere but i've been told it's very rare and we'll go past all of these brand new lakes this was never like this before this was all just sand and we'll head over to this place because i think this was a super alloy cave so in this cave it was super alloy unfortunately i think i got it all and it doesn't seem to respawn. There's also this very mysterious door in here. Ooh, I wonder what's behind there. Anyway, let's go to the ore extractor T2 and let's plop that down like that. Oh, look at that. It's got two drill bits into the same. Oh, man. Oh, and it's got a big locker as well. Nice. And look, you can see we are mining for super alloy in that. Uh, you can also see our oxygen is less than half. So we've got to head back before we die. All right, come on, Matt. Go, go. Oh, no. I may have cocked this. I may have cocked this. I do have a little base there. Can you see the doors? If we can get through those doors, we'll get our oxygen replenished. I think I have a water bottle on me as well, because that's also pretty low. But it's okay. We made it. We made it. Let's have a little drink as well. Then we're all good. Right. For the next T2 mine, we're going to head over this way. This is over over our lake where our first base was located. Yep, that got drowned out, but we're going to go this direction through these pointy rocks. Oh, what's this? Oh, some more zeolite. Through this osmium cave. Oh, oh, while getting the zeolite, of course. And then over in this direction where those rocks are, once I get this other bit of zeolite, it's meant to be rare. It's not rare at all. There should be a uranium cave somewhere around here. Now, I think we go through this triangular arch and it's down here somewhere. Yep, yeah, this is the one. This is one. There's our old drill, the T1 drill, which wasn't powerful enough to get the uranium but this one is although it's got low power so let's deconstruct i can't deconstruct that oh no right we've got low power so we're not actually drilling anything but we need to head back oxygen is running out i'm pretty sure we can make it back there's our base it's not too far away okay it's feeling quite far away come on bart don't go down too much i know my oxygen level is low oh no it's critical now this is going to be tight it's going to be tight through the door oh we're in even though we don't have any power we still have oxygen thank goodness right so we don't have enough power so all of our machines have cut out ideally we need to make another nuclear reactor but i don't think we have any uranium rods so we could build some solar 
solar panels, I guess. Let's plonk one there. That didn't do a lot. And maybe just some wind turbines, since I can actually afford them. Well, I built a load of them, but it doesn't appear to be windy, so they're not moving. Oh, this is a weird storm. The sky's gone purple. Anyway, if we head over to our aluminium fields, we've got these two mines, and they don't just mine aluminium. If we look inside these, we have a variety of resources. So we'll grab all of those, and then hopefully we can build another solar panel T2. Yep. And if I grab some cobalt and silicon, cobalt, silicon, then I can build another one, and that's still not enough power. What about another one? Yes, power is restored. I'm then going to empty the other mine as well, just to make sure that keeps mining, and then quickly head back to base before we run out of oxygen again. I will say our base is looking lovely with the flora on the edge of that time warp thing. It's looking very nice. We, we don't know what that does yet. In, uh, in the like wreckage over there, there's a little quartz crystal we can put in. Maybe that will power it up. I don't really know. We'll have to find out in a later episode once we get that far. But for now, let's head up these stairs to our base, store all of our resources, and then let's care for our eggplants. All right, next up, we can see how much power we're making. So we're making 2,035. And you know what? I've just sort of realized that says kilowatt per hour. No, that, that's not a unit, devs. Kilowatt per hour? That's impossible. Like a watt is already per time. Like a watt is one joule of energy per second. So we're using a thousand, because that's what K means, joules of energy per second per hour. What? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> anyway, everything's gone purple again. What's what's going on? Why does the sky keep going purple? I don't like this. Anyway, we can't do too much until we get any more nuclear reactors, really. And we're only like 12% of our way to trees. But what we can do potentially, we jump down here and then jetpack last second so we don't break our knees. We have a load of new rockets. I don't know if I've actually launched one of these ones. A seed spreader rocket. So we need one rocket engine, two super alloy, and then bacteria tree bark. We have all of those, but we've never dealt with a mutagen. So if we head back up our stairs again, which I definitely don't regret building, head over to this area. This is like a biolab type thing. And look, we can craft a mutagen. We need bacteria, methane, and sulfur. How do we get methane? I don't think I've ever seen methane. Actually, I think that's what the gas extractor does. Okay, we're going to go build a gas extractor. We will need 58 energy though. Oh, that's not good. I really need some energy. I'll tell you what, we might first just go and explore. Assuming I don't have any uranium on me. Yes, you'll notice I did label all these, but then sort of gave up being organized. <laughs> that one's right. Aluminium, minimum, minimum, minimum. But all the others are sort of nonsense, especially that one. Right. Anyway, let's head to the uranium cave and see how that's getting on. And if it's got a load of uranium in it, then we'll probably head over to the super alloy one as well, because I think we'll need them just as much. So into the cave. Oh, new blueprint water filter. What does that do? Oh, it's not on me. I think it's I think it's an upgrade for myself. Anyway, let's check this locker. <gasps> loads of uranium, although not loads. I need nine to make a rod and I need three rods. So we'll take them anyway. We won't complain too much. And then we'll head over in this direction under the stairs and Northern Star and then through the joys of editing, which probably includes a super fast time lapse of my journey. We've ended up at our other mine. So Oh, that didn't get that much super alloy. I expected better than that game. I expected better. Still, that's good. Time to head back again. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of traveling here. I wish we had some sort of like teleporter or even a vehicle. I would take a vehicle. My base is literally the opposite side of the map. Anyway, the good news is on my way back, I found some more zeolite. So we'll have some of that. And look in the top right, we finally hit a giga terraformation index. Although I am a bit confused. Where have my mines gone? My aluminium mines. Ah, oh, they're over here. I was very lost for a second. So we grabbed the aluminium. Hopefully that isn't a mistake. Our air is getting quite low. Oh no. Right, come on, Matt. Remember F1 stick to the racing line out the way r2 d2 like we're in it's critical but we're in we're in <gasps> we can breathe all right and then do we have enough to craft a uranium rod no we don't we're too short oh but look at this water filter allows to drink directly from lakes Ooh, that is useful so we need two bioplastic nuggets silicon and fabric i think i have all of those stored in my lockers yes in my architect suck locker we have a load of bio nuggets so we can now craft the water filter which ironically requires requires water to make. Oh, there it is. And then we can shove that on ourselves. And now we can drink from lakes. So we no longer have to carry these water bottles. Thank 
goodness. Oh, by the way, I decided to have a little stream. So we're about two and a half hours ahead of where we just were a second ago. Uh, you might be wondering, what's this long corridor? What is this long corridor with eggplants on the floor? Well, if we head out here, you see I've got three mines here. That's just getting me lots of iron. These are all the resources I don't need. <laughs> if we head up this way, I will show you what I've been building. Now, this is very, very important to the terraformation of the planet. We have been building a huge suspension bridge. <laughs> or I say suspension, it's a cable stay bridge. Let's get technical here. Let's get technical. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're like, we're getting there. As I said before, these three have been getting me iron and stuff i've been on here we head through this pillar that side's all completely done i've i've worked out the spacing how to do this perfectly now so i've just got to place this like that and then i can do another one about there there was a lot of trial and error in this but i'm i'm sort of at a point where I can do this pretty fast. My inventory is filled with iron. A bit of titanium as well. That's for the the white living containers. But yeah, essentially we build these, these stairs up. They're cables. And you may say, Matt, why are you using stairs to look like cables? That's an architect thing to do. No, they definitely have purpose. Engineering, structural purpose purpose definitely yeah, but look that one's in perfectly so we can plunk another one there is our spacer another one there delete that get interrupted by paddy the dog what are you doing dog what are you doing interrupting me anyway quickly run back in here before we die of oxygen <gasps> God damn it, Paddy, interrupting me. Place a few more of these in the pitch black. You can bung a few living compartments on top. And then if we place a door on there and another one there, then we can get around this side and we can do the same again. So we do the spacing. We plonk this in exactly the right spot like that. Delete that one. Go to build more stairs and then realize we are out of iron again. So we can quickly fly back to the mines. Realize there wasn't really anything in there. So then we can jump down. We can have a little drink because we are thirsty. And then we can just mine iron the old-fashioned way, like this. Oh, and also, check out this. I found an underwater cave. I don't know if this was a cave before or whether it's, like, melted. But, uh, oh, look. What's around this side? What is that? Water but Oh, this is just where I've been before. Now this cave's underwater. That's quite cool. I thought that was going to be a secret, but it's not. Anyway, mine all the iron we can. Oh, look. Some more zeolites. I'm going to leave the zeolite because I do have a habit to keep dying at the moment. Not the greatest habit, but when you're just trying to get iron, uh, it's the least of your troubles. All right, anyway, we have loads of iron. I don't think we can get back in time. Look at that bridge though, it looks cool. Uh, I've learned you can climb these as well. These are like vines. So you can click climb and then we're up the top. Actually, we might be able to save ourselves. So if we fly in here, we're saved. We are saved. So we'll keep building the stairs. Carry on building in this horrible, horrible sandstorm. And oh man, it's really, it's really, really sandy. What is going on? Why is the moon black again? Anyway, I should probably eat an eggplant or two. And I might just head this way to try and find some more iron. So yes, we haven't been around here yet. But it looks like there's quite a bit about... Oh no, that's titanium. All right, so now we just need to place the vertical pillar on this edge. So we're done. So it's just one, two, three, four, five. And it's on the sixth from that end. So I found the easiest way to do this is literally fly to the end on the insides. So I need to put a door up this end as well. But anyway, one two three four five so it should be under this one so we can just grab a living compartment shove it under there yeah now you can see it's in the right place so all we gotta do is head over to here and then build it and the easiest way to build this i found is to do like temporary platforms so we can drop these down a bit we can then deconstruct and then when we're underneath we can construct one of them drop down deconstruct plonk that underneath yeah i've actually got pretty quick at building apparently it's actually quite therapeutic doing this although my hydration level is low let's hope it will survive but look one under there. Oh, we're out of titanium. I never thought we'd get out of titanium. Oh, we've got loads of iron and a bit of zeolite. Like. All right, anyway, let's jump down. Let's have a little drink. Climb up the vine. Head over this way. Because look, I saved some titanium for later. So, oh God. Oh God, why is that so weird? Uh, I better grab some iron from in these as well. Because you know that will probably run out next. Anyway, it will then jump down to... <gasps> out there that hurt that was silly we'll keep building the pillar down and after like three hours work i think we are pretty much there now yes you might say matt that it's not touching the bottom it doesn't count yes it is touching it's just it's because we're so close that man that's actually really cool looking <laughs> 
I was actually thinking I could like make this twice as wide. I could like full on make it a proper bridge. Um, but effort is one thing. Why can't I climb this vine anymore? What's happened game? Oh, I don't think I have the oxygen to make it without climbing. Can I go up this one? I can't climb any of them anymore. Oh no, we might die. Oh, look at that view. Look at that. That is a thumbnail if you've ever seen a thumbnail. But yeah, perhaps over time I could like, I could do like another, I don't know, two or three wide and then do another pillar here and then cross brace them up the top. Oh, it would be cool. I know it would be cool. Like imagine looking from here and it's a full on bridge. Oh, I'm getting excited. But I think for now that is impressive enough. Uh, we're at 2.46 GTI as well. You can tell that's good because the fast cars have GTI at the end of them. But yes, as the sun sets, I'm going to say peace, love and bridges. Literally bridges. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.